Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Orbital News Organization, the only news network with our eyes so high in the sky, we're seeing stars. I'm your host, Hank Erman. Earlier today, a newly created law enforcement task force just pulled off a highly successful raid in the recent fight against illegal toilet paper smuggling. Officers managed to recover over 1,138 12-packs, but despite the success, the supplier of this smuggling ring has yet to be identified. Police are asking that if you have any information related to their investigation, please contact the newly minted TPPD immediately. In other news, tomorrow a recently proposed bill will be voted on to decide whether hand sanitizer will become the new world currency. According to inside reports, a majority vote of at least 60% will be needed to pass the bill, and while skeptics fear the bill houses hidden political agendas, initial investigations say it looks pretty clean. And our top story tonight, a man so fed up with social distancing and avoiding the coronavirus pandemic, he decided to escape the issue entirely by building a spaceship and leaving the planet. Live on scene with more details on the situation, we turn now to Fred Upwood Lag. Fred? Is, uh, is the thing on? You, you know, you know I hate lag. Can he hear me? Can he hear me? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks, Hank. I'm here with the builder and pilot of this spacecraft, Silas Knight. Uh, Mr. Knight, can you uh, can you tell us how you plan to use this ship to avoid the coronavirus? What? What? No, it's it's not for that. Look, I told you guys in that email that I responded to, it's just part of a Let's Play I do on my YouTube channel. It has nothing to do with the virus. Interesting, interesting. And what is your response to the rumors that have circulated that while you were building this ship, you may not have washed your hands every time you welded a piece of the ship? Why would I... <sighs> it, look, it, it doesn't matter, because this has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with avoiding the virus. Okay, are we clear? Did you get that? Mm, that's, that's very fascinating. That's, that's not exactly the answer I was expecting. And, and, and about how many times during the construction process did you touch your face or scratch your nose, would you say? Uh, you, you can ballpark. It doesn't need to be exact. I'm in a freaking space suit, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it's interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the people will be happy to hear you are uh, taking the proper precautions. Uh, <sighs> you, know, you know what? I don't, I don't have time for this. I, I have stuff to do. Just, just say whatever you want. Oh, well, just a few more questions. Uh, uh, hmm. Well, uh, hmm. <clears throat> anyway, uh, well, from, from the scuttlebutt uh, around the launch site, many have said that the ship may not look like much, but I'm told it was designed with survival in mind, so he clearly had his priorities straight. Uh, that's, that's all from the launch site, so back, back to you, Hank. All right, thanks, Fred. We'll be showing the launch of the SKS Shooting Star when all the preparations have been completed. For now, let's go to our orbital meteorologist, Luke Uptair, to see what the weather conditions will be like for Mr. Knight once he is ready to leave the atmosphere. Luke, how's everything looking up there? Yeah, um... Yeah... yeah sunny. Looks, uh... Looks pretty sunny. You know, I mean, it's, it's space. You know, so nothing really moves all that much. So it's, uh, pretty much always, uh... Sunny. Kind of like Philly. Alright, glad to hear it, Luke. Are we expecting any changes by the time of the launch? Mm, nope. Excellent. Well, folks, there you have it. It seems like Mr. Knight will have some smooth sailing as he turns social distancing into planet distancing. But with any luck, he'll find more than a bunch of talking monkeys and a half-buried Statue of Liberty whenever he decides it's safe enough to come home. And that's going to wrap things up for tonight. As always, remember, the news may be shocking, but it's only true because we said so. I'm Hank Ehrman, and this is the Orbital News Organization. Thank you, and good night.